add please to your request. Please. Suppose you're eating. Suddenly you get hiccups and you want water. What do you do? You should not order or demand saying, Hey, bring some water. You should politely request for water. Give me some water, please. Always thank the giver. Thank you, Gopal. When somebody helps us or gives us something, we say thank you. By saying thank you, we make others aware that we are grateful for their friendliness or kindness. We can say thank you even to those who are younger to us or to servants, postmen and others. Ask to be excused when interrupting others. Excuse me, sir. Imagine your parents are seriously discussing something. You want to tell something very urgent. What will you do? You should say, Excuse me, please. And when their attention is on you, you say whatever you have to say. Greet your elders and teachers with a good morning. Good morning, uncle. We want every day from morning till night to be good. We wish everything turns out fine so that we have a happy day. We believe that this hope will become real if we start the day by wishing others the same. So, it is only good manners to greet others with a nice wish. Good morning. Observe discipline in the class. Discipline means following certain rules and regulations so that the class functions smoothly. For example, you should not talk while the teacher is teaching. If you talk, you are making three errors. You are disturbing the student to whom you are talking. You are not listening to what the teacher says. You become a bad example for other students. Feel sorry for any unintentional error of yours. Sorry, ma'am. Young or old, educated or uneducated, we all make mistakes. If our mistakes do hurt others or gives worry and pain to others, we should feel sorry. So, we should say sorry to them to show that it was a mistake on our part and we did not intend to hurt anybody. Welcome your guest with a smile. Ha! What a surprise! A guest is a person whom we should respect. The best way is to smile, which is a symbol of friendship and happiness. A smiling face is an asset. Read silently in a library. Anybody interested in reading can go to the library. Have you seen the board, Silence Please, in the library? Noise in the library will disturb the readers. You have to keep silence or talk very softly while in the library. Chew your food with closed mouth and don't make munching sound. Have you seen people eating with a lot of noise like chewing, belching, burping, etc.? Such habits are crude and show lack of good manners. For the food to digest well, you have to chew it well. So, keep the mouth closed, chew and swallow. Stand in a queue in public places. By standing in a queue, you help in saving time. Because in a crowd, with everybody pushing and pulling, confusion arises. Old people might fall and children may be hurt. Use your kerchief while sneezing, coughing or yawning. When one sneezes or coughs, thousands of disease germs are released in the air. This will speed up the spreading of diseases. To avoid this, it is a healthy habit to cover your mouth with a kerchief or tissue paper. Freely yawning in a public place shows lack of respect for others. So, it is better if you keep a kerchief over the mouth when you yawn. Keep the classroom clean. Have you heard that cleanliness is next to godliness? If you find your classroom dusty with waste papers strewn all over, 
How can you concentrate on studies? What should you do? Do not wait for somebody else to clean the room. You pick up all the papers etc from the floor and put them in the waste paper basket. A neat and tidy classroom is the pride for all students. Do not bite nails. Germs and bacteria find nails to be safe place to hide. When you bite your nails, these germs and bacteria will jump into your mouth and enter your body. Some people bite the nails and spit them out without any consideration for the health of others. So, do not bite nails. Wash hands before and after using toilet. If after using toilet, you wash your hands without soap, you will be carrying the germs and bacteria on your hands. With such hands, when you eat or drink water, the germs and bacteria enter your body and you fall sick. Therefore, to be healthy, always wash your hands with soap before and after using toilet. Wish your elders good night before retiring for bed. Good night, brother. When we wish others good night, they will feel happy and will love you more because of your concern. This will make you also happy and you will be going to bed in a happy frame of mind. Get up early in the morning. Early morning is the time when the air is fresh and unpolluted. Moreover, the mind being fresh in the morning, your brain also becomes more alert. If you learn something at that time, you can more easily grasp. Your capacity to learn increases. Brush your teeth well. Foot particles get struck between teeth. If left without cleaning, the teeth will rot. The bacteria in the rotten teeth will get into your stomach causing diseases. Therefore, it is good if you brush your teeth in the morning, in the night before going to bed and after you eat your food. Take bath. Our body accumulates dust and dirt from the air around us. When you bathe, the dirt is washed away, leaving your skin fresh and healthy. You will feel fresh after a bath. Pray to God and seek His guidance for the day. God for us is a source of love, happiness and hope. We get self-confidence with prayers. The whole family should pray at least once in a day for a few minutes. This will benefit all. Dress up neatly. Neatness does not mean one has to be rich or wear costly dresses. Even if you have two dresses only, you should wash them and wear them neatly. Neat dress will brighten up your mind, making you happy and cheerful. Do you know dirty clothes smell horribly? If you wear dirty clothes, no one will come near you. Comb your hair Unkempt hair is a bad sight. Dirt gets trapped in uncombed hair. This leads to nits and dandruff. So, wash and comb your hair and keep the comb also clean. Wash your hands and have your breakfast. Never keep your stomach empty, nor it should be stuffed. Eat healthy food. Say bye and off to school. A cheerful face is always a welcome sight. When you are ready with your uniform and school bag, show a smiling face to your mother. A bye then means you are happy to go to school and will be happy to come back to your home. Pay respect to your teacher. Good morning, ma'am. You learn to read and write from the teacher. What you are going to be as an adult starts with your teacher. You learn discipline from him or her. Showing respect to your teacher disciplines you. 
a good student always shows respect to all the teacher in the school be attentive in the class time is very precious time wasted cannot be brought back therefore when the teacher is taking lessons listen to him or her pay full attention to what he or she says if you listen and understand in the class you will not be confused when you study at home after the school come back home change your clothes as soon as you reach home you should have a wash and wear fresh clothes the dress you have been wearing the whole day will be full of sweat and dust so remove the school dress and wear home dress wash your face and freshen up your body sweats and sweat traps dust and dirt so once you return from school you should wash your face hands and feet because these are the exposed parts a good wash with soap will make you cheerful and happy complete your homework before you go to play before you go to play sit down to do your homework never postpone homework for next day not to be done at school next day you can peacefully sleep if you have finished your homework play to relax your muscles and mind if the body is not properly toned up your mind will become dull an alert mind works wonder on the brain have you heard A sound mind in a sound body leads to healthy and wealthy life. Have some entertainment together with your family. Any entertainment shared with the family is more enjoyable than sitting alone. It brings closeness and teaches you to share and care. Pray and thank god for all the nice things he has given you before you go to bed and sleep well during night prayers relaxes after a day's busy program work and study you go to bed in the night with a feeling of gratitude to god offer a prayer and thank god for all the help this will give you a sound sleep which is necessary for the busy days ahead handle with care all equipments tools and poisonous substances in your everyday life you handle so many things like pins needles knife iron box etc do be careful with all things do not hurt yourself carelessness leads to cuts and wounds and pains don't get into river or sea water without knowing swimming have you seen the warning board in some places saying do not venture into water we have lost many youngsters who had rushed into water in spite of the warning life is precious if you know swimming and swimming is allowed venture into it and be cautious don't handle electrical connections when your hands are wet electricity passes easily through wetness dry your hands well before switching on or off any electrical gadgets don't risk your life for the sake of a kite a kite is something to be admired and played with but more often it has become a death trap do not run after kites ignoring safety if done properly kite flying is enjoyable avoid fighting as it causes injury there are many ways to solve a problem but fighting never solves any problem it leads to more fighting more violence and more injury instead if there are disagreement and difference of opinion sit together and try to get a solution through frank and sincere discussion cross the road 
at pedestrian crossing. Pedestrian crossing is for walker safety. Obey traffic rules and walk across safely. Never throw banana peel on the road. There are two things involved in throwing a banana peel on the road. You are polluting the environment. Somebody might slip and fall. Don't cross a unmanned railway track. Almost every day, we read that somebody has died while crossing the railway track. You may feel the width of the track is small and can be easily crossed. But you cannot assess the speed of the train. Why not be a little more patient? Wait for the train to pass and then cross? Why hurry? A few minutes of wait can save your life. Don't walk on puddles of water during rainy season. Puddles of water are very tempting for children. Children would love to jump into it and splash the water. But this could be dangerous. The puddles contain disease carrying germs or any loose and live electric wire might be passing out electricity in the water. In such cases, you face the danger of electrocution. Never light a cracker in the house. Sometimes, lighted crackers can burn wooden or plastic things. If lighted within the house, if the roof is a thatched one, the whole house might burn. Don't leave the wounds open. Open wounds invites flies and other disease causing germs and bacteria. If left unattended, open wounds lead to serious problems like surgery. It is best to keep the wounds clean and closed. This will save prolonged treatment. To douse wood fire, use water and sand or mud. It is easier to put out wood fire with sand or mud than with water because water is not always available and sand or mud is handy. Donate blood to save life. There are many instances where death has occurred due to heavy bleeding. Blood is the lifesaver. If you are healthy and suffer from no diseases, you can donate your blood once in six months. Your blood can help in saving the life of a needy person. Know your blood group so that you can donate blood during an emergency also.